All right, we haven't seen one of the Jim Studio C's in a while. So, here we go. But that's not why we're here. We're here for another Jimster 586 unboxing video. I've already cut the tape for convenience, so let's see what's hiding in the box. We have a Kenwood SC51 pouch with a belt clip. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. Don't know. Let's see what else is in the box. Inside the box, paperwork. You guys don't really need to see that. <laughs> Nothing personal, but you don't need to know where I live. Ooh, what's this? Kenwood THF6A 144, 220, and 440 megahertz FM tribander. That's right. It's my first uh, ham radio handy talkie. That I finally came up with enough cash to acquire. Gives me something to get on the air with. So let's set that down there for a moment. But there's nothing else looking in the box here. Oop, there goes Chicken Lily. Freaking out running away. Cardboard. Bubble wrap. Lots of styrofoam peanuts. I hate styrofoam peanuts. Oh, as a cleaner, I hate styrofoam peanuts. I'm just going to bring out my chair. So we have a pouch, and let's see what's inside this box. Shall we? Why not? I'm trying to look through the viewfinder here. Whoa. I have my office chair around way on me. Peanut. There we go. We have that's kind of an idea of what it looks like. It's a Kenwood, of course. THF6A. Oh, this manual's for the F7E, too. Oh, nice. What else is in the box? Plastic. Look at how tiny that little radio is. That's smaller than those little handhelds right there. There's the battery right there. Clip. That's the antenna on the top. That looks like the power adapter right there for charging. So let's see what we've got. Get you over there for a minute. Nothing else in the box. Back in the box. Manual on desk. And box can go on the floor. Is anything else around there? If so, we'll find out later. There's pouch for said radio. So let's have a seat. Still wearing my walking boot. Standing isn't the greatest, the most comfortable thing to do. So we'll have a seat here. There's a Jim Stradusi on the window ledge. Put this case aside for right now. I don't need that right away. Nice chunky battery. Well, plastic bag over there. Sorry, this is a little jerky. I'm trying to do multiple things at the same time. Come on. There we go. A lithium ion battery, I do believe. Oops, PB242L lithium ion battery pack. Information for <laughs> made in Indonesia. How to recycle a battery. Information for anybody who are interested in lithium ion batteries. Set that aside. I was correct about this being the electrical charger. I didn't see a drop-in charger for these. I ordered a second battery, but it's on back order. 
wrist strap. I'm not even going to bother to open that right now. Metal clip, clipping on your belt. And one handy dandy antenna. One thing I want to do is open the antenna so I want to see what kind of connector it has. So I have a antenna that uh, is going to come right out. Probably not. Come on. I have a homemade, sorry about the, the view there. Right. Has this kind of a connector on it. But I have a homemade 2 meter antenna that I made in one of the Rochester Amateur Radio Association Academy sessions over at RIT back in December, I think it was. And uh, I want to see if it has the connector to meet with that. If, if it does not, then I'll have to get the radio itself out. Yeah, that is right side up. Okay. Pause the video if you want to read this. Apologize for the small print. Now we're going to zoom in on that so you can see the, the information. There's the, the radio itself. Very small. It transmits on the three frequencies listed on the box, but according to the information, it'll pick up all the other frequencies. It'll receive. It just doesn't transmit. There may be a way to bypass that. I'm uh, not sure. I'll have to talk to Music Freak CC about that. He knows a little bit more about these than I do, as he's also a licensed uh, amateur radio enthusiast. Let me slap the battery on here, so hang on a sec. Sorry for the long video. Yeah, this time we'll point you to the Jimster's lock shop. I don't know what you can see, if anything. Let's slap the battery on. Well, not slap, but you know what I mean. That certainly increases the weight. The radio is way lighter than the battery. There we go. There's the antenna hookup. I don't know if that other antenna will work on here or not. I'll have to try that out later. I'm not going to try... I don't even know if this thing has a charge on it. I'm not going to try broadcasting uh, in this YouTube video. No offense, but I don't really want to give out my call sign on YouTube. So that's what we've got. We'll put the antenna on here. In just a sec. And we'll find out whether this thing has a charge on it. Yeah, I don't think there's the same in same uh, adapter because this is a screw on it's not going to drop it on the floor again I apologize for the jerkiness of this video let's see here there's the power switch hello and we have frequencies I'll have to play with this a little bit and get back to you. Tell you a little bit about how it works. Oops, had to bring in my antenna. Not more. Sorry about that. So there's one Kenwood THF6A FM transceiver HT, handy talkie. The antenna, as you can see, is longer than the unit itself. So we'll find out if this works, play around with it a little bit, and uh, we'll get back to you. So, thanks for watching. This is probably going to be one of those iMovie specials. Alright, so here we are again. This is a continuation of the unboxing video of this Kenwood THF6A uh, handy talkie for the amateur radio service. I'm a ham licensed ham operator, as is Music Freak CC. Uh, G4 Tech, and I you know probably countless others on YouTube. So now that we've got it unboxed, and I've had a chance to fiddle with the controls a little bit, let's turn it on for you. I'm 
listening to channel 147.075. And let's change the channel for frequency. 47. Small buttons. We'll do a review of this at a future point. Oops, see if it will focus. Come on. You can see I'm in F narrowband FM. That's the FN, FMN. I've got it set at the high power setting. That's why there's a little H in the corner. That T is for tone. This is set for um, repeater at the moment. It's a small compact unit. Uh, the battery is the heaviest part. Radio weighs barely anything at all. Uh, there's your push to talk button, transmit, backlight, which is definitely a nice feature. This is monitor. There's nobody currently using the, the repeater, which is over um, at, on top of URMC, University of Rochester Medical Center. This is your uh, VFO, or tuning knob, when VFO is set. This ring right here is volume. This, of course, is the antenna. The antenna is longer than the radio by far. Power button. Menu functions. Uh, you can manually enter numbers, amongst other many different settings, with this here. Here you would hook up like your data cable and other attachments, um, like a handheld uh, microphone and so on. Wrist strap, battery. I have a second battery on back order. Still have to ship that to me. But nice uh, compact radio. I also have the case for it. Let's just set this here. I'm hoping perhaps somebody will come online so you can hear what it sounds like. This is the power adapter. This uses the standard 110 or 120 depending on where you are. Electrical plug. And we have one little handy made in the USA, which the radio is not, but the case is made in the USA. Handy little pouch for the, the radio. It's a Kenwood case. There we go. Belt clip. Strap to hold the radio in. Hopefully on. So let's change frequencies. I'm going to go to a frequency that I can't transmit on. Four zero zero. Miles an hour. No, a weather radio. Ninety percent. Saturday night, rain. Breezy with lows in the upper thirties. So at least you can hear what it sounds like. I am not going to try transmitting, as I don't want to get out my um, call sign. You don't really want that on YouTube for privacy reasons. But that at least is what it sounds like. So that's all I've got for you at the present time. Turn that off. I do thank you for watching this lengthy video. This will be another one of those iMovie I piece together specials. Uh, but it's in only two pieces, unlike the video for the printer here, which was done in about four different parts and stitched together. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that's what I've got for you. One Kenwood Handy Talkie TH-F6A radio. My first Handy Talkie with one very long antenna. I have a custom antenna to use, but I don't have uh, the correct connector to make it work. Uh, the RARA, Rochester Amateur Radio Association, put on an academy back in December, and one of the things we did was made this gigantic two meter antenna with this plug here for your antenna connector which unfortunately does not meet with 
my handy talkie. It's a different uh, connector, so I'll have to get an adapter in order to use this. This antenna actually is silly as it looks. It's a PVC pipe uh, with a spliced cable wire inside. Standard uh, coax cable. 50 ohm coax. I think it's 50 ohm. Um, and with this uh, connector attached to the end. You can see that or not. There we go. It's a BNC connector. This antenna works very well. Music Freak CC tested it out with his Kenwood Handy Talkie and uh, was doing extremely well on two meters with it inside a building such as our house here. Massive wires down there. So I look forward to using this antenna that I know works and works well once I have the proper connector for that, which at the present time I don't have. Quick view of Jimster's lock shop. And with that, one last peek at the radio, and we'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching this lengthy unboxing video of this Kenwood Handy Talkie. For those of us that are in the amateur radio business, well, it's not really business, it's a hobby. Uh, that's going to be it. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed.